What if the three workers from the 1999 Tokaimura nuclear accident had somehow survived their massive radiation exposure? Hisashi Ochi and his co-workers received 20,000 times the annual radiation limit in seconds. Instead of dying, imagine their bodies adapted to the cellular destruction. They would become living laboratories, their DNA permanently altered in ways never documented. Governments worldwide would demand access to study them. Medical imprisonment would become their reality, indefinitely. But here's the terrifying part. Nuclear safety protocols would never be strengthened. The proof of radiation's deadly effects would be missing. More accidents would happen because the world believed humans could survive. These men would live as radioactive beings, unable to touch another human. Unwilling test subjects for the rest of their unnaturally extended lives, their survival would doom countless others to the same fate. Sometimes dying is the merciful outcome.